habitat of crayfish, crayfish is aquatic. Okay, aquatic. You know we have two types of aquatic, fresh water and marine. So basically you have to state it. So for this one, for specimen D is aquatic, okay? Aquatic is the first thing you state. Next you state marine. Next you state sea or ocean, okay? Or they can give it to you salt water. So these are the things you have to state there. You can't call it if you don't say aquatic. Okay, you must state the particular place the sea, marine. Example, the two examples of marine water is sea and ocean. So these are the, these are the key indicators, key habitats where one can easily see crayfish. Okay, uh, this is on the habitat. The next important thing between these two, these two uh, organisms that they are all invertebrates. So let's look at the classification. Classification of C and D. Classification. Okay, let's put down the kingdom. Let's start with C first. Kingdom, phylum, and then class. Okay, now for C, C belongs to the class animal. So here we have animalia. Okay, phylum to which it belongs. C belongs to Arthropoda. Arthro Poda. Okay, C is an arthropod because it has jointed legs or jointed appendages. That's why it belongs to arthropod. Okay, that's one reason why it is an arthropod. The second reason why it is an arthropod is because the skeleton, the external skeleton, the exoskeleton is made up of a material called chitin. Called chitin, okay? So that is why they are put into this group of um, other. Okay, the next is class. There are four classes under arthropods. Spider belongs to the class called Arachnida. 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 Okay. Arachnida, a class of arthropods with eight, eight legs or four pairs of walking legs. Okay. A class of arthropods with just two body divisions. Okay. 